nine weeks after this Buddhist monk died people exhumed his body only to see him smiling Long for Pian was a highly respected Buddhist monk so he was afforded full burial honors when he died in December 2017 one of the rites involved exhuming his body so that it could be dressed in clean robes but when devotees opened Pian's coffin nine weeks after his death they were astonished by what they saw Buddhism is central to the people of Thailand's culture indeed some 95% of Thais follow the Theravada school of Buddhism which is the country's official religion Theravada Buddhism also has many followers in the neighboring countries of Myanmar Cambodia and Laos before we begin make sure to smash that like button subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos Theravada Buddhism which originated in Sri Lanka as long ago as 250 BC is regarded as being a more conservative strand of the religion furthermore if you visit Thailand you'll see evidence of the nation's dedication to Theravada Buddhism all around you throughout the country you'll come across small shrines at the roadside and in front of people's homes meanwhile elaborate temples dot the landscape and shaven headed monks can be seen pretty much everywhere with their orange robes the monks are instantly recognizable and provide a constant presence in the country in fact every male Thai is expected to spend a period of time as a monk in the Theravada orthodoxy this should be around three months however many modern ties only down their robes for a matter of weeks and in some cases only a few days this cultural imperative to become a monk even if only for a short while explains why there are some 38,000 temples in Thailand and at any one time these play host to around 300,000 followers this huge network of temples accounts for an annual turnover of donations of up to 3.6 billion dollars part of many Thai's daily routine is the giving of alms to monks in return monks act as celebrants at important religious occasions such as funerals they're also tasked with promoting the teachings of the Buddha although most Thai men spend at least a few weeks living as monks there are also those that dedicate themselves for a far longer period this path starts in childhood when young boys become what's known as seminera a position akin to an apprentice or trainee many Thais will go on to become monks after a year or two spent as seminera Typically, they'll spend perhaps two or three years in the role before returning to secular life. Those that elect to commit even further usually focus on one particular aspect of Buddhism, such as meditation. Luang For Pian, the monk we met earlier, was born in Cambodia but rose to eminence as a monk in the Lop Buri region of Thailand. Pian had been married and was a father of seven sons and two daughters. Pien ordained as a monk late in life at the age of 50 at a temple called Wat Kampeng in the Ban Mi district of Lopuri Then following many years of faithful service the holy man fell ill and was admitted to hospital in the Thai capital Bangkok On November 16 2017 Pien died in hospital his body was subsequently taken to Wat Kampeng and laid to rest in a coffin as Thai tradition dictates But that wasn't the end of the story his followers and fellow monks were to witness the extraordinary phenomenon when Pian was removed from his coffin some weeks later in January 2018 Pian was taken from his coffin as part of a funeral ritual that includes changing the deceased clothes and replacing them with fresh robes This practice takes place during the 100 days that the body is kept before cremation is carried out of the temple In fact Thai funerals can be quite elaborate affairs Surrounded by complex rituals the first step after death is to bathe the body before dressing it and laying it to rest The body will then be displayed in its coffin and monks will perform a traditional chant called the Abhidhamma However, when Pien's body was removed for redressing it appeared to show no signs normally associated with decomposition Indeed reports suggested that the body resembled that of someone who'd only been dead 36 hours and what's more Pian appeared even in death to be smiling This was regarded as highly significant Many devout Buddhists believe that the fact that Pian's body had not decomposed and that he seemed to be smiling in death was hugely important It's indicated that this pious Buddhist had reached the highest state of perfection known as Nirvana 
in Theravada Buddhism Nirvana is achieved by the termination of what is known as the kleshas These are the negative traits such as jealousy and anger that pollute a person's body when these have been banished and individuals such as Pien can free themselves from the endless cycle of death and rebirth There have actually been other cases of Buddhist monks who have died and subsequently displayed no signs of decomposition a Notable example of this phenomenon came in 2015 when the corpse of a monk was found in Mongolia The body was wrapped in cow hides and sitting in the lotus position Moreover a doctor to the Dalai Lama Barry Kurtzen said that despite appearances the monk was actually not dead Rather he was in a deep meditative state known as Tukdam Kurtzen went on to explain if the meditator can continue to stay in this meditative state he can become a Buddha of course science finds it difficult to accept that a cadaver does not decompose as in the case of Pian or that a mummified body is still actually alive but in a deep meditative trance as in the case of the Mongolian monk but perhaps religion still holds some secrets that contemporary science has no explanation for